anybody that can help me to understand whether we have uh, a business directory for because there are so many services and products but they are not captured somewhere where one can be able to access what is where uh, I know the Ministry of Trade once had something, but I think for the region as well, we need to have that kind of a tool. Using water, you find it in the shops. But most shops are refusing to take my water after the water has already been registered, inspected, health inspector, and what have you, because it's coming from Chris Morangi. It's about time that we talk to the shops and get them to open up the local products that people cannot produce and not sell. As a local producer, if we start granting our products and a Kenya meal is at its mark, it doesn't have to be inspired for me to buy it. The fact that I know it is written uh, Omaeke, I would order that Omaeke meal is from Okahanja or wherever it is that I am because I know it is good quality. If we still buy from SA, toilet paper that we are producing here, if we still buy it from Windu. We as women, in the Mahenge region, we need to see to it that every woman is having a garden towards where we are going to produce our own food. We need to color the town of Kubawas, not only with the normal businesses that we are seeing now, but with new ideas. There are so many young people, the other day I engaged the youth and they were having dreams in their eyes. They have ideas, beautiful ideas. And so, it's for the town council and, and the leaders of, of the region to provide the necessary infrastructure for these young people who've got bendable ideas, businesses, where they can actually start. Because it doesn't help that they've got the idea, they've got the money, but there is no place where they can actually operate from. So, the way to make it sustainable is any of the businesses that successfully are incubated there and they get funding and they move out, and the incubation center will hold a certain percentage in that business. Because, you know, we, we host that too, isn't it? So, at least some money comes back to the incubation center so that we can incubate others, isn't it? The only way how to really reach out to the communities by engage, engaging them, hearing their voices, hearing their cries, hearing their proposals in terms of their own destiny, in terms of their own development. That's for that reason that we have been engaging from traditional authorities, from schools, to the youth, to the business community. And it's to, to try and, and harness uh, all efforts and to also hear the voices of people as to what it is that they're expecting of us. And by hearing what it is, what they're expecting of us, basically we are entering into a contract with them. We have to deliver according to their needs and that will set for us, for example, a one-year plan, five-year plan for the duration of our term. So we do not want to do things in isolation. We want to uh, have the uh, bot, uh, bottom top approach and not the, uh, the top bottom approach. Uh, for me, this platform was very, very critical and crucial in one, in bringing about networking uh, in that as farmers now or, or as business people now we know who is doing what. So I think that's, that's, that's what I really learned and I think my expectations have been, have been exceeded. Uh, I'm looking forward